Now there are tiny sheep popping out all over the place. They're tiny, though. Uh... Hello, and welcome to this server discovery, episode one, Tunneler's Abyss. Tunneler's Abyss is a non-PVP server with a very nice and friendly community and some very good buildings. I will be yet uh, showing off some of the the towns. I think there's four main towns, although people are always starting to make their little towns of their own. Good travel nets to different places. It's a nice little place. Let's look at some other places in the place. This is Zarg's Echo. Not quite sure of the pronunciation of that. I'm going to say Zarg's. This is the first place that new players will generally arrive at. Let's have a look at some of the buildings. There are many nice shops, gardens, houses, buildings, and even temples in this town. Nice temple there and a nice garden here. Here we have the Zarg's Echo train platform and a mall under construction. A view back on the main section of town. Oh, here's a train here. Admins have just been working on some train stuff. Trains are nice and relaxing. A lot of the things that happen in this server are very... Calm. Very calm. If you are tired of taking the travel net and want to try something different for a change, there is a beautiful hiking trail that leads between the four main towns. Let's walk the path for a while and have a look around. We have now come all the way over the mountain and into Spawn Town. Not quite sure what Spawn Town is called, but that's where you go when you hit slash spawn <laughs> to this little red zone down here. Many monuments set up to commemorate certain occasions. A lion over here called Dora. You could go and say hello to it. Back in Spawn Town now, we've got an info centre, monument and public machines if you ever need to get some grinding or threshing or centrifuging or extracting, furnacing done, whatever you need done. There's a nice public machine room. The Button. Well, it's 6 a.m. now. On the hiking trail yet again. It's about a four to five minute walk from Spawn over the mountain to Fractal Plains, our next destination. Here is my blueberry farm. There's nothing protected here. Anyone can go around and collect berries anytime they like. 
plenty of berries here if you need some blueberries. There's, uh, it's just blueberries everywhere here. It just keeps going. Just more and more blueberries. You think that there's no more blueberries, but then, lo and behold, there are yet more blueberries. I mean, do you like blueberries? I've got lots. I have plenty. My neighbour has a very nice house. Circumine's house. Very big and nice. And it makes me sad <laughs> to look at it in comparison to mine. This is great, but mine... I don't know. My garden is nicer. But my house is a little strange. TV. Down and look at the TV. It's nice. I haven't finished this side. This will be wood on the bottom later. Oh, and my sheep. There's not really much in here. There's some stuff. I have things. Not many things. I need to make another white door. Also. Yeah, sheep. I have two. But if you want sheep though, go next door because um, Soko Mine or Soko Mine, I don't know how to pronounce that. He's got some sheep for sale and uh, horses. I'll just verify that this is still true. <laughs> he may have ran out. Nope, still got ponies. Male white sheep. If you want male white sheep, here's where you want to come. He's down here doing something. What's he doing? I shouldn't be looking through his window. Oh, look at him, sheep. Yo, hey, man. What's up? Circumine has invited us in to have a look at the sheep, which I would love to do. So, I'm, so we're going to have a look at the sheep. He has an entire sheep breeding facility down here. Look at all these sheep he's got. I only have white ones. I'll have to go looking in the wild for some more. Yeah, I saw somebody sheared their sheep. There's another person on the server. Penguins. Apparently shearing sheep is a possibility. Which one is this one? Oh, here it is. <laughs> the sheep are so small. I don't think there are large sheep, only small sheep. Maybe there are large sheep, I haven't seen any. There are cats and dogs, you can't um, catch those though, with a lasso at least. Maybe you catch them with something else. I don't know. But you can catch elephants and pandas and horses and um, sheep. You could also get dogs actually. You can have them follow you around and stuff. Oh, they've all been fed, that's nice. Oh, there's only one male here. All other the female. Hmm. Hard work. Hard to distinguish. Ah! So it keeps the male of a different colour. I said, that's this one here. The other ones are grey. It's only a slight difference. I see. 
I've just been talking with Sokomai and Hume and Caleb for a while about the sheep. Caleb and Hume have come to visit and have a look at the breeding program. It is interesting. It's a nice mod. Now there are tiny sheep popping out all over the place. They're tiny, though. Uh, please look at the sheep and how tiny they are. Now we are in Castletown. This place is all medieval themed, of course. More sheep. This one is a smaller town, but it is highly detailed and very nice. I have to have a rest, actually. Oh, here we go. There. I'll sit here for a little while. There are some more things in the town, but I don't want to give it all away. You will have to come for yourself and find out. And now in Dragon Forest. Just like all the other towns, you will find many nice things to see. And many nice people to talk to. Here is the Dragon Forest public farm. Some nice vegetables to pick here. Be sure to replant afterwards. Cotton. Jungle grass. These are kinds of wheats. Blueberries. Upside down heart. Onions. Turnip. Carrots. Cucumber. Seeds, garlic, cucumber, strawberry, beans or peas, chili, and that thing. Potatoes. Yeah, a lot of those flowers around here. Uh, another kind of pepper or something? Corn, tomatoes. Legumes or something? Grapes. Here is a duck. Goodbye duck. <laughs> oh, the, dra the dragon has come out. Be careful. Oh, I should be careful on this train tracks. Be careful on the train tracks also. 
trains can run you over. Some cool shops are here, and some really very nice buildings. More shops, and more shops, and more shops. If you ever need anything, there are plenty of shops in Dragon Forest. There are some shops in every place too. Penguins has a nice shop. You be careful of them uh, Drangons in uh, Dragon Forest. Maybe it should be Drangon Forest. Don't know. Do not know. Oh, while we're here, let's watch the sunset. Very, very nice. Some more lovely houses here. Somebody pressed the daytime button. So now it's daytime. Here we are now at Grapeyard Superb. The end of the line for the trains. You can also come to here via a travel net starting in Castletown. There's also a travel net to come here from Fractal Plains. But since it isn't one of the main towns, it isn't in the regular spawn travel nets as of yet. Let's deliver a letter to Sivarajan. Not sure how to pronounce that. I hope that was okay. <laughs> Here is the Grapeyard Tree Hotel. Let's see what they have. Oh, here's some sliced bread. Hmm. I'll have some sliced bread. Maybe upstairs or outside? Hmm. I'm already up here. We'll sit upstairs. Eat our bread. Nice bread. It's not just good food in Grapeyard Superb. I mean, check out this incredible multiple tree tree house that we've got here. Isn't that great? Now let's take a look at some of the mini servers. These are to the right, Living Spawn, and to the right again, Tunnelers Paradise. This is a New Zealand themed server based off New Zealand's amazing flora. Oh, 
a very nice server. We've got some uh, Manica trees over here. You see I've got uh, Manica leaves here now. It's a nice server, not so much in the way of buildings yet, but uh, you can come here and get some trees as long as you replant. The building on its way to being constructed there, a massive tree, lots of nice birds. It's a very nice place. And then on the opposite side, Australia. Bigger things, bigger trees, bigger animals. Everything's big in Australia. I haven't even seen this thing over here yet. Something happening over there. It's a nice place. The next stop on our journey is the public mine. And to your left on the way out of spawn, you will find the building to the travel net. Close the door behind you like a polite person would. Public mine shaft. Here you will find a train system which will take you to all the different kinds of blocks to be mined. Let's jump on the train now and have a look at what type of blocks there are. Here is Omphorite. Pegmatite. Basalt and red slime. Or plus red slime. Hectorite. Fewer light. Hex Torite. Disco Nice. Oh, and there's the other train. And granite. Binary Red Colourful Wealth That's pretty colourful They're cool Sycamine and Diorite Want some other things there too The end of the line. More hash FF0000, which I assume is hex code for red. Whoop. It doesn't like corners. And now we are in a secret place the Matrix. The blocks here behave strangely but there are many more rare ores which is very good and look at all these rare ores i'm finding here it's the matrix this is the power of the matrix one thing that is for sure is that there are many more mese blocks in the matrix and crystals, rarium, got some unobtainium over here, adamantite, many more ores inside of the matrix. Well that will be enough of this episode of server discovery. There are plenty more things to see in Tunnelers Abyss but if you are interested you should come and have a look for yourself. Maybe build, maybe build a home here. It's a nice place. Friendly people. Before I go, let me show you my secret 
mountain house. This may take some time, so I will speed this one up a little bit. There isn't a lot here yet. It is not quite finished. But I may do some more things with it soon. I noticed that it wasn't looking quite so good up here, so I renovated to make it worth all those stairs. Got some beds over here. Double decker bed. Barrels, cookers, got some, nothing in there at the moment, but uh, they're there. Actually, this is what I'll do. I will put some blueberries just in this one. There we go. Ah, oh. go and see the sunset. That's a nice sunset there. Okay. Mm -hmm. See you next time. I hope that you have good days and good nights.